say uh, we played a good first half. We got to be in foul trouble. Uh, obviously, they're a good team. So they need a run in the second half, and uh, we can never uh, come back from that. Coach Thursday, you mentioned uh, the slow start is what hurt you guys. I went in to start the game today. Uh, just your thoughts on that and how it's kind of that's been. Um, I, did, I just thought we missed layers today. You know, the other day I thought it was energy, but today we were missing, we were missing point blank layups, turned the ball over a couple of times. You know, I, it was a slow start, but I thought it was a different than anything. Coach, is 7-23 and in, in the second half. Um, obviously, you said you guys missed layups, but what was it about their defense specifically that gave you guys trouble? Uh, 44. Swami didn't believe in anything. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, was, he was blocking shots. He was changing shots. I mean, that was the biggest difference between the first half he wasn't in there. Mm-hmm. So we were getting to the basket. We were getting to clean looks. And he was, you know, he was changing shots. What was the decision in particular with uh, sitting buckles after nine minutes in the first half and kind of having him out? Uh, was it because of the two fouls that he got early, or what was kind of? First half. Yes, yeah, in the first half. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Any, anytime somebody gets a two fouls in the first half, just just grab it. Coach, I know it's kind of down the down the road. You still have two games left, but what would you say? How would you describe the what your seniors uh, have brought to the team throughout this year and the. You know, effort and play they've shown throughout the season. Well, I, I, I told them um, like when I first got here, I will forever be grateful to them for helping to lay a foundation for this program. Uh, moving in the Conference USA it was a great decision. It was a tough lead on Tarnell, uh, Rakeem, uh, Ivan, all those guys. You know, they, they've done a great job of helping. What have they done when you talk, think of their leadership this year? What would be an example of something well, you well, think? The work ethic, coming, coming to practice every day, working hard, showing the younger guys what it takes in order to be successful, getting in extra shots. You know, things like that are, are positive things that you take and that you show people how to get better, you know, how to improve, and they've done that. In time, Ella, with about 12 minutes left, they go on a 92 run there. What really changed for you guys? Why were they able to get have so much success there? Thoughts on officiating, especially kind of late in the second half? It seemed like maybe uh, things were kind of getting a little, I don't know, maybe frustrating. Was it because of just the mislayups that you say, just in general, or did the officiating right, maybe throw calls? For, for me, I'm always trying to find an advantage for us at some point. If there's contact, then you know, I kind of point it out. But, I mean, I thought they did a good job. There wasn't anything glaring that they missed. There's some contact on both ends that they didn't call. No, I'm asking you about this whole se- this whole season. Um, was there at any point this season that you questioned like coming back to FI? No. And um, kind of what what has this season meant for you? Uh, this season for me was just a, a learning experience in, in all aspects, and not just basketball. You know, I, I made a commitment to Coach Evans early, and I was going to stick to that commitment. Shaped me as the different person that I was before I met him and before he got here. So, um, you know, I really am glad that I came back because I learned a lot, not even from a basketball standpoint, as from a life standpoint. So I'm excited and glad that I came back. What are some of the things you, you feel? Uh, just res- responsibility, being able to take ownership for, for the things that I'm capable to control and just to, you know, be a, a better person, a better man about things, and when adversity hits, you know, to just weather the storm, whatever, no matter what it is. Any changes in particular with the next-